Are you tired of that drip, drip, drip coming from your leaky faucet? Well, in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to repair a laundry faucet, which is very similar to your bathroom faucets and kitchen faucets. You'll have an idea of what you're looking at. So before you go spending $100 on a new faucet, watch this video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Work and Dirt shop sink slash our nice little bathroom here. Now, in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to repair this leaky laundry faucet. And I know what you guys are thinking, man, you should just buy a new one, they're only 35, 45 bucks. Well, it's very true, but I think we're gonna to try to be a little resourceful and spend a fraction of that price repairing it, and then if it goes out again, we'll finally replace it. So, I have a couple options also uh, which is one, replacing the whole cartridge in your handle and or just the seats and springs. And in order to do that, you're going to need a pair of channel locks, preferably the flat jaw kind without teeth so you don't scratch your nice chrome plumbery. A pair of regular pliers, needle nose pliers, Phillips screwdriver, and then a small uh, eyeglass screwdriver with a flat head on it and then some silicone plumber's grease. This stuff's great. I use it on everything from your P-traps, anything that has like an O-ring, it's harmless and it just ensures a great seal. So let's get started. First, we need to shut off our water. So you need to go under your sink and find your supply valves, your angle stops, and turn them perpendicular to the flow. So right now we're gonna go, boom, quarter turn to the left or to the right and now they're off they're perpendicular to the line now you might have not a quarter turn you might have a couple turns and be careful if it doesn't want to turn after you're using good force you might have an old sticky valve but now time to get started you're going to want to remove the little cap that usually covers a screw and they're always some type of hidden feature to pop them up but if you just look there's sometimes a little indentation underneath um, so you're just gonna use that little eyeglass screwdriver to open that up. That'll expose a screw that holds your handle down. So then get your Phillips screwdriver and remove the handle. Once you get the screw loose, you should be able to pop your handle off. And now what you're looking at is a cartridge. Now this is where I talk about needing a pair of smooth jaw pliers um, or crescent um, a crescent wrench or you can use channel locks but without teeth but this is a laundry sink I don't care if I scratch it that's what shop sinks are for to get dirty and mess up you know so you're gonna loosen it lefty loosey righty tidy yes I already disassembled this to make sure I could get it disassembled sometimes you get so much water corrosion as you can see it makes it hard to get off but this came off okay and now what you have is a cartridge or a stem and this usually pulls out, just be gentle not to hurt it. You can wiggle it back with your hands and it'll probably pop out, but sometimes they're in there pretty tight. So then just grab lightly on the stem where the, the handle is attached to and it pops out. Now what you have is an O-ring which seals. That usually wears down, gets flat. And then this is the bottom of the cartridge where water goes in one side, and then when you turn the handle, it's able to come back out the other side. So in order to make a seal down here, down in there, you have what's called a seat and a spring. That's where you're going to want to use your needle nose pliers and grab what you can. So there is your little seat, it's a rubber seat. And then there's a spring that is underneath it. And that puts pressure on the bottom of that cartridge or stem. Now what you'll find is, uh, one, the rubber gets smashed down and that's what we have going on here because both of them leak equally. So we want to replace this little seat. Now the second thing you want to do is say, okay, well, is my spring weak too? And what I did was I compared a new spring from our kit to this one. And the old one is still actually nice and springy and it's, actually about 10 thousandths of an inch taller than the the new one so i'm going to stick with this it's a good spring um, but i am going to use the little rubber seat now they gave me two sets of seats 
So just find the seat that works best for you. These things are sold as a kit per the model you have or there'll be some generic universal ones. So you're gonna have to just look in your plumbing section and see if you have a Delta faucet, get the Delta uh, brand or it'll say for Delta Peerless. Like in this case, this if I wanted to replace the whole cartridge, I would get this one because it says it's good for Delta and Glacier Bay faucets and it matches what I have but now here's the case where we can save you more money each of these are seven to ten dollars um, you'll have to replace two so that's about twenty dollars but what I said is we want to save as much money as possible these were about three bucks so times oh yeah one kit does the whole faucet so there you go 350 is your investment here and I think our stem is fine I turned it and it's still um, nice and rigid in there I think it'll be fine. Uh, so what I am gonna do is put plumber's grease around this O-ring so that it seals good again. And you can even replace this O-ring too, but that was an issue, it wasn't leaking. So I'll just put a little plumber's grease around this and stick it back in. Um, and then we're gonna put the new seat on the old spring. And I even looked closely, the way you could find out that the old seat was bad also is because it has a little impression, it's kind of, it's worn and you can see where it was going across the little opening or whatever so now you're gonna put your seat on your spring use your needle nose pliers careful not to hurt your rubber seat and then go ahead and drop it into that little cavity in there and then sometimes you have to do a little convincing or finagling um, with your finger you just kind of feel around and see that it's in there you can feel it rock if it's not so it's kind of a you need a little finesse to get it to sit just perfectly it's got to be cylindrical or concentric I'm gonna use my little flathead screwdriver and you just keep pushing down and make sure you could feel it kind of squish down on all sides it's in there it takes a little that's the hardest part of this is using your little finger and just making sure you can feel that it's in line and that it's not tilted and it'll go in there and it doesn't sit all the way in there it's like three quarters of the way down then when this gets pushed in it puts pressure on it and then that's what does your ceiling so now we're going to take some plumber's grease silicone plumber's grease and just wipe a little bit on that old o-ring and then we're going to put some on this bottom piece here i'm telling you if it comes to water i always add this stuff it's great. All right, so now we're going to set it in. And you want to remember which orientation you had it because this um, has a little indicator, clock indicator there, so that it fits perfectly. All right, now we have it in. We have to put our little collar on. Screw that down. And that'll hold the stem down so that the water pressure doesn't blow it out. We'll put a little tug on it. All right. All right. Last thing to do here is put on the handle. So just line it up with the little fitting until it fits. There we go. Put on your screw and then put your cap on. In this case, I'm missing a cap. Why? Because this is a shop sink and things just aren't perfect. All right, so now we have to test. We've got to turn our water on and see if it shuts off. Boom. It was dripping constantly before, so I'd say that's a success. And I don't, you know, I don't think this was too hard. I think the hardest thing was putting on the little rubber valve seats. So plumbers, if you're watching, let me know if there's actually a little seat tool to put those valve seats in. I just ended up using my pinky and pushing down with this little flathead and kind of feeling for it and it finally went in. So other than that, pretty simple. Uh, all your faucets are pretty similar. Even your shower faucet, it has a big cartridge mixing stem in it or two individual ones, depending on what you have. And you could take them out uh so if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and uh look forward to our other videos 
So next time you guys want to take a leak, stay a while and fix it. It'll make the old lady happy.